Hello everyone, this is Inma and this is my second uh, Clip Studio Paint material review. I'm going to show you some, uh, some stuff that I downloaded from Assets that I find really useful. And uh, in the video description you will find the link to download them as well. If there is any question you have regarding my illustrations, like what kind of brush did you use here or what texture and such, do tell me and I will try to add them to my next uh, video review. So uh, today I'm going to start by recommending a pack of brushes to draw sound effects. Well, you can use them for whatever you like, but these are really really good for sound effects see because they have this texture it is a pack that comes with uh, many many different brushes like this one you can draw them in Japanese or whatever you choose This one also is also good for writing, like to sign or something, because it's um, it's sensitive to uh, speed. So if you draw slowly, then there's not much difference. But if you go fast, then you can create many interesting effects. And this pack comes with many many different brushes for many kinds of effects. So definitely download it and check them out. The next brush that I want to review and recommend it is this one. This is for sakura flowers and this one is so beautiful. It comes in a pack with three. One of them is this. This is dark, so you put this one in the background, then on top you draw with this one. And you get a very nice effect. And then it also comes with the gray version. So this one is so that uh, you can make a new layer on top, set it to overlay or color. Let's start with overlay. You choose a color, for example, let's, let's make it blue. And see you get the color that you chose. So it is a different effect. And you can make it color instead of overlay and it gets... I think this one looks nicer, but it depends on the illustration that you are making. So yes, this is a pack that comes with these three brushes. The next one that I want to recommend is this one. This is for bushes. And this brush takes into account the primary color and the secondary color. So you can get, for example, this would, this would look ugly. See? The first color is the dark part and the second color is the part on top. So a good way to use it is to make this dark blue and this one green. Now we select this color and see we get very nice plants. And now everything looks the same so we can um, add some effects by creating a new layer on top. You can set it to overlay and with the airbrush, big one we can add some effects to the bottom or we can make a new layer in screen mode and 
see by adding more layers in different modes with different colors you get a more detailed um, illustration but this works for everything not just this brush The next thing that I want to review is this action set. Uh, I only really use uh, the one in the middle and I'm going to show you this one first. This is to make some parts of the illustration glow. So you see the difference. The parts that were very light are glowing now. You can see it better if I raise the opacity like this so this might be a bit too much but it looks kinda nice you can only use this if you have really light parts in your illustration because otherwise uh, it won't work but yes this one I use a lot to create a shiny effect the other actions that come in the set are this one this one makes the whole thing lighter but I don't see the points see it's like yeah it looks cute but it's not very useful <laughs> and the other one this one called diffusion this one takes a bit longer to load so it's going to give a softer um, feeling to the whole illustration which might be okay for showing it online but if you're going to print it then I think it's best if see if we, the whole thing is less uh, blurry this is at 100% and you can lower it just for a small effect see the difference this is very like you can see the lines very well and if you add it then it becomes softer it's not bad it just depends on what you want to use it for but my favorite is definitely this one the one in the middle okay there's one thing that I discovered while making this video see you always learn something new and it's that um, for this action, the color you have chosen actually plays a part in how the colors glow. See, for example, now I have this really bright pink. So I'm going to play. And now, see, the, um, the glowing part is pink. If I had it blue for example so the glowing parts would be blue this is very interesting because it allows you to play a bit more with effects depending on what you want to make and you can even mix them why not you just have to lower the opacity a bit so yeah, this looks very nice. The last material that I would like to review is this brush here. It comes in pack with more interesting brushes. So this, this is something that I use for backgrounds. You can create very nice effects, but not just that. I use it in a special way let me show you so let's imagine we have for example this pattern so I have this pattern in an illustration then I create a layer mask here so now I'm going to erase the pattern on the layer mask I'm not really erasing it see if, if I paint on top I can get back 
the illustration. And that's the thing that I'm going to paint using this brush. And see, you can create very nice backgrounds with this. And also you can use it, for example, in this illustration. I'm going to give it a blank background. I'm going to do the same thing, create a layer mask. Now I'm going to erase the whole thing on the layer mask. And now I will Get some parts back. So on the characters I want them to be seen more so I press harder. But yeah it gives a special texture. And you can create a sort of frame. So you can enable the mask and everything is right where it was. I have a shortcut for that, so I can see. So yeah, what do you think? So that would be all for today. If you liked this video, then uh, give me thumbs up if you like, or subscribe. And if you like my tutorials and want to support me somehow, you can check my Patreon. I am making drawing and coloring tutorials over there. And also my social media will appear next if you want to check my Twitter, Instagram and such. And that's all. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Bye bye.